The St. Louis Blues have the ability to do one of the funniest things, and right now the odds are in the Blues' favor. Well, not completely, but just at the moment, they are still alive for the Stanley Cup playoffs, I know, which is insane considering how poorly they've played against some of the worst teams in the league. But hey, I'll take it. I'm going to talk more about this coming up here on Locked on Blues. Your Locked on Blues, your daily podcast on the St. Louis Blues. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Hello, hello, and welcome back to Locked On Blues. I am your host of Locked On Blues, Kaylee Taylor Simon, talking to all things about our St. Louis Blues here on the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Oh, St. Louis. A lot to talk about today. We have new playoff scenarios for the St. Louis Blues facing elimination and why I think that actually sparks some momentum in the boys. And of course, looking ahead to tomorrow's game against those Carolina Hurricanes. A lot to dig into on today's episode. A lot of hypothetical talking, which is kind of fun at times, right? Obviously, it'd been uh, nice to, I'll explain, but I'm getting annoyed already about this. So today's episode is brought to you by Indeed. Indeed knows when you're growing your own business, you have to make every dollar count. That's why with Indeed, you only pay for quality applications that match your must-have job requirements. Visit Indeed.com slash locked on to start, to start hiring now. Terms and conditions apply. Hello again. Um, Yeah. So last night, the Blues had a huge win over the Chicago Blackhawks. And now they look to face those Carolina Hurricanes tomorrow. But last night, the Las Vegas Golden Knights, they lost to the Oilers. So thank you. And now the Blues are three points behind Vegas with three games left to go, while Vegas has four games left. So the max amount of points, and I, I'm going to bring out my tweet. I go on the spreadsheet that I have, right? And I do these tweets every day now for the Locked On Blues uh, Twitter account. And it's a little funny because a lot of you are like, oh, my God, there's a chance. I'm like, there's a reason why it's still at a 0.3% chance. We did go up from a 0.1 to a 0.2 to a 0.3 improvement, baby. So this is the Blues current playoff scenario as of today, April 11th. The Blues must win out 95 points. So, again, they must beat the Hurricanes, the Kraken, and then the Dallas Stars. And, big and, Vegas loses their next three out of four in regulation. So, they can win one game. They just can't win, you know. Um, or Vegas goes to three overtime losses. So, it is a little funny. I mean, it's getting so much attraction, these tweets. but. Let's go talk about hypotheticals because my friends over at Locked on Ducks, um, they're my friends now because they said that, you know, they want to help us. Nobody likes Vegas. It's an apparent. So here's the thing. Oh, let's go pull up the Golden Knights' schedule because right now I'm going off of hypotheticals that somehow, some way, we'll be able to be, you know... Will we be able to beat the Canes? I don't know. Okay, like here's the thing. Like it's possible, right? A hundred percent it's possible for them to beat the Canes. Um, I just don't necessarily know if it's going to happen. But I take a video of something. So anywho. Let's go look at the schedule for those Las Vegas Golden Knights. So Las Vegas Golden Knights. Again, beautiful 5-1 loss last night. Again, thank you, Oil Nation. Appreciate you. So they have four games left. It's going to be the Wild, the Avalanche, the Blackhawks, and the Ducks. Okay. Tomorrow night for the Minnesota Wild, they better put my boy Marc-Andre Fleury in net. Yes, he's my boy. He's everyone's boy. He's like the most well-liked player in the NHL. You put him in net. He's going to be going against his old team, his former team. Listen, 
I'm sure there's some frustration there with how they treated him when, you know, they let him go. So put him in net. Wild fans, have the game of your life. Honestly, ball out. Don't quit. Ball out. The Avalanche, they can win. I feel fine about that. Chicago, listen, I know we don't like you, and we don't. You and I, we don't like you. We don't like each other, and that's fine. But who do we not like more? You want an expansion team to go back to the cup? No, you want a team like us to go over the Golden Knights. So beat them. And then my friends over at Anaheim, listen, I know you're going to be the last team that's going to be playing uh, the Golden Knights season. I mean, it may not matter, honestly, by the time it gets to you guys. I don't care. Still beat them. Make them feel like they just got stepped on. I don't know. Just come on, hockey gods. Like, I don't ask for much. And they're going to be – and I'm going to talk about this, about how they're going to be facing elimination again. But – I don't like this feeling. This is not a nice feeling. This is like one of the worst feelings. I think if you were to ask any hockey fan what the worst feeling is, it's not game seven in a series because honestly, that's like a fun feeling. It's knowing that you may not even make it to the playoffs. And here's the other reality. And this is where we're going to get really mad. The Blues are a 16th um, – best team in the league and you know if there was one more spot in the playoffs right that would open the blues would be in the blues would be in in the eastern conference it would be able to secure either the metropolitan spot for third place or they would be able to secure a wild card spot so when you think about the fact that there's teams battling to get into the playoffs that have significantly less points than st louis it's a crazy concept and it's infuriating because of the way that it's structured. But at the end of the day, that's how it's structured. So the blues just got to keep on pushing hard. I mean, I've said this all along and I'm going to keep on saying it. I said that the Dallas stars were going to be winning the cup this year. And I'm not a Dallas stars supporter. I hate the stars. Why did I say the stars? I just think that they have the best talent. They have the best two way players. And honestly, at the end of the day, they're the team that I think is going to be the strongest candidate. I don't think Vegas is going to make a run if they get into that second wild card spot. I'm going to hate watch the playoffs, to be honest. Um, I do this every year when I, last year I hate watch it significantly because I was really mad. But this year I'm going to hate watch it again. And then hopefully next season when we watch the playoffs, we'll be able to cheer for the Blues. I really was about to fly out to St. Louis to see them too in the playoffs. Um, I don't live in state, but I was like, you know, for the playoff, I'll, like, I'll come to like a one game or whatever and that just completely ruined it. I just I love this team. And last night, I know Chicago. I know they're one of the worst teams in the league, but I I just can't believe that they lost to the San Jose Sharks twice. Not twice, three times. Oh my god. Oh my god. Three times to the Sharks. And my frustration lingers a lot with this one because if they just beat San Jose twice or once, they'd be one point behind Vegas or they would be above Vegas. If they beat the Blue Jackets before the All-Star break, you get what I'm saying? It's like they're, I know why they're not in the playoffs as of now because it's still alive. But when you think about the reasoning as to what they could have done to be in the playoffs, it is absolutely infuriating. Like, I'm upset. I'm annoyed. I'm irked. Because at the end of the day, this team, I love them, but they did it to themselves. And it just is a slap in the face when you see that in the East, there's teams literally that have significantly less points that will make it to the playoffs. And then you're here in the West. And it's like, okay, even if the Blues finish with over 90 points, you're still not going to be good enough. So that sucks. It really sucks. I I love hockey. I, I just hate the situation that the Blues put themselves in. Notice I'm saying the Blues put themselves in it. 
it's because the blues literally put themselves in this situation and they did this to themselves. All right. I'm gonna tell you about my friends over at factor eat stress free this spring with factors, delicious, ready to eat meals. Every fresh, never frozen meal is chef crafted, dietitian approved and ready to eat in just two minutes. Choose from a weekly menu of 35 options, including popular options like Calorie Smart, Keto, Protein Plus, Vegan, or Veggie. And also discover more than 60 add ons every week, like breakfast on the go, lunch, snacks, and beverages to help you stay fueled and feeling good all night and day long. What are you waiting for? Get started today and fuel up your springtime goals. Get chef prepared meals on the table in two minutes of factors, ready to eat meals. So you can go back to doing what you've been doing this spring, okay? Head to factormeals.com slash locked on 50 and use code locked on 50 to get 50% off of your first box plus 20% off of your next box. That's code locked on 50 at factormeals.com slash locked on 50 to get 50% off your first box and 20% off your next box while your subscription is active. Facing elimination again, kind of. Okay, let's talk this out. So last night, every single playoff scenario needed the Blues to lose and Chicago to win. If that happened, LA would have clinched. And again, this is if like they won. So if like the Kings won, if um, the Knights won, all these things. Well, the Knights lost, the Blues won, so that didn't factor. Like the, you know, it's that didn't happen. So technically speaking, okay, tomorrow night, because again, this gets confusing and I feel like it's the best if I just kind of explain it. So the Blues take on those Carolina Hurricanes tomorrow night at home. I believe puck drop is at 7 p.m. We go check because I think it's at 7 p.m. Yeah, so 7 p.m. tomorrow. This is all central time, by the way. So if you're confused and you're not from central time zone, just central is two hours above Pacific and one hour below the Eastern. So there's that. So that is at 7 p.m. Okay. The Vegas Golden Knights, though, play tomorrow night at 9 p.m. against the Wild. Technically, if the Blues lose and the Knights win, the Blues won't be eliminated until a couple hours after the game. So that's fun. (laughs) The Blues need a win. And I will be doing a post-game episode tomorrow. And I know what you're thinking, Haley, this is me the most depressed you're going to be on an all refilling blue Friday because you're probably thinking, oh, well, the blues are going to get eliminated. I think facing elimination, though, it puts you in a different mind space. I think back to when we won the cup. I say that a lot. But I think about game sevens, right, and how game seven, it means so much to all of us against those Boston Bruins that we beat in game seven. So take that, Boston. But – um, You know, I think back to moments like that and the pressure was on for St. Louis in that game seven and they rose to the occasion. And I know that this is a different team, a team maybe that isn't as talented and isn't as special as that team once was. But when the pressure is on these elimination games in the regular season, they feel like game sevens do in the playoffs. And I think this actually gives the team some spark, some motivation, some edge because they know that if they don't win, I know you're playing a couple more games of the season, but your chances of playing more hockey later in the spring are done. So it's kind of cool because you see the guys playing a little bit more desperado hockey, but it makes for some really good hockey. So that's like a plus. I got to enjoy this season while I can, right? I can be down and upset because I am about how the season's turned out. But at the same time, I think taking a step back and just enjoying the game of hockey is what's going to keep me going. And I love the St. Louis Blues. I love this team. And that's not going to stop. If they don't make the playoffs, as frustrating as it has been this season with some of the losses that they've had and 
things that we don't like what we're seeing as much. I still love this team and I'm always going to love this team and support the team because that's what we do here. Uh, we're fans for life. And I think that's something that's really special about our fan base completely is that we still show up. We show out last night's game, huge turnout. And I think that just makes our fan base just that much better than everybody else's. Time to talk about my friends over at Indeed. Okay. When you're drafting your fantasy team, do you ever wish you could just handpick the best stars from your business team? Well, I can tell you how to do that at Indeed. Indeed is the hiring platform where you can attract, interview, and hire all in one place. Don't spend hours on multiple job sites looking for candidates with the right skills when you can do it all with Indeed. Find top talent fast with Indeed's suite of powerful hiring tools like matching assessments and virtual interviews. Hate waiting. Indeed's U.S. data shows that over 80% of Indeed employers find quality candidates whose resumes on Indeed matches their job description the moment they sponsor a job. Something I love about Indeed is that you can do this all on one platform and they make it so simple and easy to use. Candidates you invite to apply through the Indeed Instant Match are three times more likely to apply to your job than candidates who just see it into a search, okay? So Indeed does the hard hiring work for you, sponsor a job, and then they'll match you with quality candidates whose resumes match with your job description. So join over the 3 million businesses worldwide using Indeed to hire great talent fast. Indeed knows when you're growing your own business, you have to make every dollar count. And that's why with Indeed, you only pay for quality applications that match your must-have job requirements. Visit Indeed.com slash locked on to start hiring now. Just go to Indeed.com slash locked on. Indeed.com slash locked on. Terms and conditions apply. Cost per application pricing is not available for everyone. Need a hire? You need Indeed. Indeed, you do. Looking ahead, three games left. Six points max. <sighs> Pressure is on, St. Louis. Pressure is on. I cannot believe we're sitting at 87 points. Is it 87 points? Wait, or is it 89 points? Wait, are we at 89 points? And I said, why did I say 87 then? Hold on. See, this is my brain today. Yeah, we have 89 points. That's what I thought. 89 points. Okay. And we're still not in a playoff spot because the Knights have 91. So I'm going to read you the scenario one more time. Just that way you and I can talk about it because this is um, what we're going through. Everybody, like, by the way, all these different fan bases feel bad for us. They're like, oh, my God, poor Blues fans. I am doing these scenarios because they don't tell you these things. I am telling you this. I did the – I am not good at math, but I can do the scenarios. So again, Blues must win out 95 points total. They're at 90, they're at 89 right now. So 95 total, that means they have to win the next three games to get those six max points. And they need Vegas to lose three out of their four next games, or Vegas has three overtime losses. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Yeah, no. The the losses to San Jose really did it. If they just had one game that they won against the Sharks, then yeah, you get how everything just is connected in this really weird, messed up way. Like if they were just able to beat the Sharks twice out of three times, or they would able they went to overtime. Another time. You know what I mean? If they were able to get three points out of San Jose instead of just one, then that would have been better than – three out of six is better than one out of six. It's just it's really bad, and that defines the season when you lose to teams like that. But I'm not, not – it's not the Sharks I'm knocking. So I don't want Sharks fans to think I'm coming at them for their team. It's just the situation where it's very well known that the Sharks are going to probably be – the worst team in the NHL this season, getting the highest draft pick, so good for you, honestly. Um, but the Blues, man, they play such good hockey sometimes against some really good teams, and then it's the teams that are struggling they don't seem to play well against every single time. 
All right. Well, I'll talk to you hopefully for a non-elimination episode. And if the Blues, they get eliminated tomorrow night, um, and this is the last time you see me before that happens, just know that it's been one heck of a season. And as frustrated as I am, I'm proud of the younger players on this team that have stepped up. I love wearing the blue note, and um, hopefully we can stay alive. Let's see how long we can stay alive for. Let's go play a game. Uh, 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 staying alive. And hoping for Vegas' downfall. All right, bye. And like always, let's go Blues.